Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you all. Uh, I have made an application which is based on Java programming. So this is basically a billing system for any company. So that if any company wants any billing system to generate their bills for their customers, so they can use it. So in this project, uh, uh, I have used some uh, Java programming concepts that is Swing. Uh, AWT, SQL, okay, and the database is used uh, in this project is MySQL. So, firstly, let's. Uh, I want to just show you all that how this project will look like and how it will work. So, by clicking on this button, I can just run this project. Okay. So, in username, I have uh, added uh, one user that is uh, in my database. So I will show you that how you can add your users in your database so that uh, your project will detect your database and if the, the correct data, if it, this project will find, find the correct data in your database so it will enter you, allow you to enter in this uh, project, okay, in this uh, billing system basically. So I have adds a username as Monu and password is 1234, so login. After login, uh, you will get this... Uh, this frame basically in java programming you can say it, it is a frame but uh, for currently it is a, i i will um, i will call it as window okay so in window uh, you have uh, a menu bar this is a menu bar i have uh, upgraded i have uh, upgraded there is a width width of this menu bar and height of this menu bar okay so that's why it is showing uh, like this so in this menu bar we have five buttons uh, menu user report utility exit so uh, in uh, a menu button uh, this is basically a j j frame menu okay so it is a menu bar so you can uh, add this menu bar by there's a class in java j menu bar so when you click on this new button you have three things in your drop down menu uh, new customer customer detail and deposit customer and in user button you have three things and in report you have one thing and utility basically this utility is uh, you can directly access your computer system uh, software system software directly by clicking on this like whenever you click on notepad you the notepad will open and click on calculator then this calculator will be open and uh, when i click on this web browser so this web browser will be open okay and exit we all know that if you want to exit from this project you can exit by this button okay so if currently i have i have uh, my customer details as em uh, not empty i have one uh, detail that is rajat uh, so i can delete this detail as well so and i can add this okay i can add some new details in this uh, uh, table okay so how i can add this i can add by by filling this form so let's form let's fill a detail like it's a sonam okay so and meter name is 1002 because 1001 is occupied by rajat so address is uh, let's say keshavpuram a1 a1 keshavpuram okay state is delhi and city is new delhi and email id let's say xyz at the rate gmail gmail.com password is one two three four five six our password no phone number is one two three four five six in it whatever it is so just click on submit so a dialog box will be come out that is that will say that a new customer is added <coughs> so after that uh, the new customer is added in your customer details you can check it so this here it is we have um, two customers so all the details is added in this so this is all how this uh, project will work now you can pay the manager can pay the bill of any customer if uh, if they the customer came to this uh, to his office and uh, pay his bill so he can directly pay through this okay through this menu bar okay then there is a calculate bill in this thing so he can calculate or add the bill for particular meter number so directly for for a particular month he can add so whatever the consumed is used or units is consumed by the user so 
and directly he can just write down that 500 meters 101 and just submit it okay so 101 is submitted uh, I, I know so uh, I'm gonna to add electricity bill for 1002 for sonam that is I guess let's check it out so 1002 right so this is for sonam and uh, for January let's say it is 500 units okay so submit so bill is updated for 1002 meter number so now in this report i can generate the bill for any customer so let's generate the bill for 1002 for january month so it is how i can generate like this so you can generate by this so total of payable amount okay so i have made the gst percentage as well it's nine percent okay so this is all how this project will uh, look like so in this project basically i can just exit okay so in this project uh, the basic funda is is how you can connect your sql database to any of the java application i will show how you can do it okay so let's start so for this you have to just uh, uh, your, your system should have netbeans netbeans okay so how you can download it uh, uh, i have mentioned the link in my description you can go and download this netbeans so just download the netbeans for for uh, all the things where whichever is present but uh, in this project i have made a java project so it is a java application project so directly you can select this one and just go to next and just uh, give the java project name and just click on finish so i have al I already made this billing system so i am not gonna click on it finish you can do it okay so after that this billing system will create so it will have so this is a files menu go to project menu project in this you have source package test packet libraries and test libraries so first you have to look on this okay in source package i have made three packages this icon and icons i have made uh, for this is just my resources which is uh, i am using in this project okay different different icons i am using uh, okay so and this is the main thing okay so in this i have total 10 total 10 um, classes of uh, okay so for each and every i have for each and every dialogue or uh, each and every window i have uh, meant i have made a particular class so that i can use them okay so the first thing which is loaded whenever i am clicking on this play button okay run this project so this that will be login so this splash should be uh, run first but uh, i don't know why it is not running so i will start this project from login okay so there's uh, some problem in this splash.java but uh, uh, i'm just uh, uh, leaving this thing and uh, just to <coughs> start this project by this login.java class so uh, before it you have to mention you have to add the mysql jdbc driver to your project without this your database can't be connected to the to your project okay so how you can add this you just have to click on library and uh, you just click on the right click on this library package and this uh, select this add library okay after that you will see there is a library called mysql jdbc driver so you have to add this driver okay uh, so i have uh, uh, I have added this driver so I will not add, add it again okay so I have also added this derby client jar so this is another thing this is also a driver but in this uh, we just uh, I, I'm gonna remove it okay so we just need uh, this driver for this project right so after that what you need to go where you need to go you go to uh, just go to services now i'm going to show you how you can create your database so we know that we have uh, uh, added the jdbc driver <coughs> after that we just have to make a database okay database so how you can make it i have made this but uh, how you can make it in this database uh, you have three things okay drivers and two things basically java db and driver so go to this driver and click right click and no uh, double click on it and then you will get uh, see that there are many things okay 
so you just have to go on this mysql and just click on uh, right click on it and then just connect using uh, you, you know, click on this connect using so you will see this is localhost port number mysql root you can set a password but i am uh, i am not setting any password if you want to set any password you can so okay so this is a port number and just click on this next but uh, and and just click on this finish but i have already uh, made this so that's why it is showing me that unable to add connection so connection already exists okay so you, you can uh, uh, connect this uh, uh, you can just connect uh, your mysql so, um, by this thing okay i have just showed you so after that this will be create okay so in this just double click on it and you have mysql so whenever you go to mysql just click on this uh, uh, mysql and there is a table so i have made some four tables okay so firstly i want to show you all that uh, how you can uh, add your uh, users so that uh, who can who you can access your this software who can log in in your software so in this uh, login i have two uh, columns or attributes so just view data click on this view data so the username is mono and the password is one two three four okay and you can just check by clicking on this login table that username is mono and password is one two three four so uh, you can directly add uh, in this by this uh, button okay uh, if you want to add some new data you, you can add it but uh, instead of doing this thing i will add uh, data insert the data in this table by uh, through the sql command okay so how you can add your uh, users in this thing so just click on this table and just execute command okay execute command so after that we have a query in sql insert okay insert into table name table name is login login and uh, values insert into the uh, insert into login values and username let's uh, add new user that is uh, a admin admin and password is one two three four okay after that just give a semicolon and execute it by this button so execution finished no error occurred okay so execution is finished you can see and just go to this new user or this uh, table and just right click on it and then see the data now you can see that the new user is added okay admin and password is 1234 now you can access your software by writing by giving this credential also so now uh, we have four four tables so this is the login table and this is the uh, emp table that is for the customer details so you can see that customer details here right and you can uh, add or remove the data if you want okay this is very simple i have just showed you one example now you can do many things uh, if you want to do so and this is the bill if uh, i will add some bill so i can add just like that i have add some bill for 1002 so 1002 i have in for the month of january i have 500 units and the amount to be payable at is 3734 so this is all about uh, sql how you can create it and how you can <coughs> how you can create it and how you can um, uh, insert the data or delete the data whatever you want you can do it so this is all so let's uh, go to our this package and how you can make this how can you can make this i'm gonna to show you so first you have to connect your database to your project so how you can connect your database to your project just uh, make a new class on your project uh, package okay that is i have made as con.java then you have to import the sql package okay sql package in your this uh, in your uh, class so that uh, it can use all the classes so in this i have made a con 
and uh, con class and there is a two variable c and s that is of type connection and statement okay then just make a new uh, i have made some uh, a new constructor that is con okay and uh, i have used uh, try and catch exception handling so exception handling are used for for handling the exceptions that can occur while running our program so exception handling uh, practice is very good for uh, for everyone who is doing programming so i have used okay so this is our driver address so you have to add this so i have used the mysql gdbc so i have you uh, i have to mention this uh, address okay so after that in c variable uh, there is a address of my of my database so my database address how i can i can check my database address just go to that uh, just go to one second there it is files So just go to database and uh, just click on this database and just go to properties. So you can find the database URL here. Just copy this thing, okay, and copy and you can just paste it in this con.java here, okay. And whatever the username, uh, the username of the database is uh, root, and I my password of this database is empty, okay. So this is the line you have to write okay so after that in s variable uh, i just copied this c dot create statement so that it can it can uh, create okay so i i will use this s statement in my program whenever i will uh, i will i have to use my database okay so that it can create that statement it can initial initialize my database okay so this is all about the con dot java after that the first class which will be uh, loaded whenever i click on this run button then that, that will be login.java so in login this video is getting very longer so this is just a part one of this project please watch the next part uh, to continue with this project uh, and i will upload uh, the next part very soon so if you like this video and if you found this video little helpful then please like uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any query regarding this project so you can comment down on this video i will definitely reply you so thank you so much